Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One and Only, and welcome back to some more Dragon Blaze. Ah, finally. The update is pretty much over. We get our rewards and stuff. And now I get to play. Right, hey, I guess we'll buy that. Alright. That too, for everybody. There we go. So let's look, see what we get inside this division card. Come on. Be something good. Please? Be something good? <laughs> Whichever, whenever the game decides to go through, jeez. Who's I raising that for? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I got somebody pretty special uh, a few days ago from one of my free summons. Oh shit, Dark. Hey, fuck yes, I will take that. I just don't have him yet. <laughs> but yeah, got somebody pretty special to just show off, you know, flex a little bit. Whenever we get there, there she is, Mercedes. Finally got the last Mercedes. And she's now exalted. So now I gotta finish her as well. <laughs> Uh, along with this man here. He's actually been, like, really damn strong. So far. So, I can't wait to finish him off and... Uh, get him done. That's right now for... Her, we need to go ahead and grab... Up of them souls. Okay, why does it tell us to take so long for a mailbox to open? Like, jeez. So what's going on here? Not to say that something happened in chat to where it just had that on. But yeah, we've been through that. Alright, so... Let's go look at the characters that they didn't give us, like, the whole sheet for when it comes to, like, skills. Oh, yeah, I also summoned yesterday on free and got a Jin Infinity Soul, so, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, there they are. All right. So, Greed and Cancer. Okay, there's a lot more lag than I remember. Jesus. Okay. Removes all normal phase one buffs from one enemy. I guess he has certain phases that he goes into. Like phase one, phase two. Okay, so in phase one he takes all buff, all normal buffs from one enemy and inflicts damage decreases the enemy's attack for 10 seconds summons oh increase summon damage this effect is phase two which can't be removed with normal phase one petrification let's go wait what huh greed you're weird dude so far all right second skill Cast a seal of greed on your cloned summon. Increase the attack for March summons for 30 seconds. This effect is phase 2, which cannot be removed with normal phase 1 petrification. Okay. Third skill. The summon clone... Has identical enhanced levels as the real ally mage, but 50% reduced max stamina, intelligence, and cooldown speed. Also, greed can only summon one clone, okay, at its time. The clone summon is removed when greed dies 
or if the summon dies. Okay, so it's not like a stay up and keep attacking type of deal. Alright. Okay, first passive increases boss damage and normal attack. Second skill... In return, okay. All damage received is passed on to the clone. In return, all debuffs on the clone received is passed on to greed. Uh oh. Wait, so that, does that mean insta kills are passed on to him? Because if that's the case, that sucks. Because the clone can't be insta killed. But greed himself can. That would definitely suck. Okay, increase all magic damage and boss damage for allies. The enhanced skill. Okay, so his max skill increases all summons, well, all his summons, max HP by 30% through the Seal of Greed. His ultimate increases his summons magical attack. His arc is pretty much increased boss damage. His affinity is increased summons max HP through the Seal of Greed by 500% and the summons duration is increased by 60. Oh wait, I'm reading that wrong, am I? Whoops. I thought that was his ultimate and stuff. Come on, game. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright. Okay, so these just change. Never mind. These are, yeah, the enhanced versions of when he goes to Infinity. Okay, instead, when this is, when time, well, yeah, greed of time. God, my life. <laughs> Ingredients of time is like enhanced clone and duration increased by a minute basically basically a minute and 20 seconds Okay Increases the summons boss damage increased the received magic damage for enemies hit with greed's eye for 10 seconds, this effect in phase 2 cannot be removed. Okay, yeah, the same thing. Okay, what's the affinity skill? This I'm looking forward to. Okay. Your clone summon is stronger than the original copy. Damn! Greed's cloned summon lasts for 180 seconds. Increases the clone's in intelligence single damage and also increases clones magic damage oh shit okay so it also increases his boss damage and every infinity enhance increases the magic attack and boss damage okay that's actually going to be really good inside of a um, golem and jurin or juris Whatever the hell you call that boss's name. That's gonna be really good. Alright, as for Wrath, someone I plan on building in the future, but not right now. Oh, wait, did they change some things? Hold up! So you can increase physical attack, range attack, Juris damage. Oh, so they did change some things. For like infinity points. Dude, that's fucking dope. Okay, I actually kind of like this system. But hold on. Let's go ahead and read the skills first before we get into all that. Okay. Inflicts damage to one enemy. Increases the enemy's res damage received from physical attacks. This also stacks. Oh, shit. So, 250 goes up to basically 1,250, right? 
So that's going to be a lot of damage being received from physical. So Drew's physical side is going to take like a crap ton of damage. So all you have to worry about is magic if you if you already have a um, wrath on that side. Remove all buffs from her next target and inflicts damage upon using the skill inflict bonus damage holy crap Jesus Christ I just looked at the damage percentage compared to everything else this is the highest damage percentage I have seen but it inflicts additional damage on Juris. Oh wait, no, he if she inflicts additional damage on both of them, not just one of them. How does that work? I don't think they I don't think both teams attack each other, right? They just hit one of them. Alright. Well that learned something new about that fucking war boss. Inflicts damage to one target, inflicts additional damage or additional fixed damage for the next 10 seconds. Cast a buff that increases your physical attack by 58% every second. This stacks up to 9 times. Okay. Yeah, she's just a powerhouse for like bosses. Become phase, well, second phase, immune to, immune while using skills. I'm sorry, guys, I, I just woke up, you got to work with me. <laughs> Wait, was that passive? Okay, no, that was activate. Passives. Each enemy adds extreme rage as a set chance. Stacks up to 10 times, permanently increasing additional boss damage and a physical attack. For every extreme rage. Okay, nice, nice. More attack building. Upon the second skill when fighting Juris, increase your rain damage by 438 and increase your skill attacks. Okay. Stacks up to five times. This effect in phase two cannot be removed in normal. Okay. Oh, purification skills. My bad. My bad, I thought that was petrification. I don't know where I got that from. I was just half looking at words at that point. Increase additional boss damage and physical attack. Okay, so this is if it's enhanced. No, that's not enhanced, right? Okay, no, these are enhancements. This is the max enhance. Okay, when max enhancement goes through, due to increasing extreme rage, your physical and boss damage is increased by 2% for each enhance. Okay. By using the same skill, all attacks become critical for 5 seconds. This skill, well, this effect cannot be removed. I don't know. I'm almost out of freaking space. I'm going to have to delete something. Increase single target damage and boss damage for all allies. Nice. Okay, so this is the hands. Hold on. Let me go delete some things and I'll be right back. All right. And we're back for now. Into it's run out of space. Alright, due to increasing... Okay, so this is where we last left off. So instead of increasing 2% per enhance, it increases to 10% per enhance level. Okay, so this is not like... If you guys are thinking per, like, affinity enhance, it's basically per, like... You know, if you bring her up to max, those count as enhancements. So that's pretty much like 9 to 8. Depending on what enhance she is. So she's arc, she's going to automatically get way more damage. Basically. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so the second skill inflicts 10 times the damage 
to normal enemies and inflicts both inflicts damage to both. Okay, so she has a special thing to where she can inflict damage to both sides. Okay, that's what it is. That explains it. Okay, the second enhanced skill. Increase max stacks of rage, of extreme rage to 15. Which is stacked at a set chance every time enemies are attacked. Upon using the second skill, all attacks will be... Oh, so it'll increase to 15 instead of 5 seconds of crit hits. Okay. And inflicts additional times 10 damage. Okay. Inflicts damage to both sides when fighting Juris. Janice. Janice. Dude, I am out of it. What the fuck is wrong with me today? <laughs> the effects of... The second skill are phase two. Okay. Which one is this? Third skill? Okay, yeah, this is the arch. So increase single target damage and boss damage for all allies. That one's basically increased. So this one, upon using calm before, wait. Okay, so that's the first skill. So upon using the first skill before... The third skill... Inflict times two damage on normal and time 12 damage on boss types. The second skill targets... Janus. Dude, I really need to figure out this name. I'm thinking it's Jernus? I was never good with that name. Let's just say Two Face. Yeah, we're just going to call him Two Face because that's basically what he is. There's no tag on enemies from Fury mode. Does not miss. Okay, so she doesn't miss damage, so that's going to be perfect. Increases single damage and boss damage to all allies. Okay, so that's still a thing. Infinity. Counter attack of rage. Okay, so when Raph is attacked, he has a 30% chance to remove all buffs from the attacking enemy. So that, does that count like special buffs too? Alright, inflicts damage and inflicts times 30 damage if the enemy is our two-faced friend. Okay. This attack does not miss. Increase the single target target damage and boss damage. Phase 2. Every time the second skill is used in, during a fight, it stacks up to Five times. Also, wait, no, it said it was increased to 15, right? Okay, yeah, it says it's increased to 15, so is it finally increased it? Hold up. So, extreme rage stacks up to 20 times. Wait. Wait a second. Okay, I guess that is increasing the cap. I, I'm guessing, but it's saying it's stacking. Okay, whatever. Anywho, increases physical attack and single attack. And that increases per... A fairly enhanced. I need to take my ass to sleep. <laughs> okay, so you have two things you can put that... Infinity plus one and two. You can put it into one of these. Or you can put it into this. I would personally put it into the specialty. <laughs> That's pretty much a no-brainer. But one thing I do want to see is him in action. Because I'm curious of what he looks like when he attacks. And I doubt it's gonna summon his clone because our like 
For some reason, our skill review is like so limited from what I know. Well, it actually looks pretty dope, to be honest. So he's not going to summon coins for... Yeah, he's not going to summon his clones at all. Okay, there we go. If we auto scale, then he'll summon his clones. Okay. Outside of auto skill, they won't summon the clone at all. Noted. I love Raph's design. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. Was that the, um, transcendent weapon skill? Oh, yeah, she gets put on cooldown for a while. I think after she uses one of the skills, which is the second skill. Okay. So overall, really, anywho, I'm just going to keep going. I don't got time for them. Whoops. I went back too far. Uh, I don't, I guess we forgot how to cook, to be honest. <laughs> All right, Dragon Busters. This video is just going to be all over the place. I gave up on this point at this point. Alright, hold up. So these are gonna be our dragon busters again, huh? Good to have you guys back. So we're gonna be going through getting pieces. Okay, so what are, is that a new like place now here's the um, sending your characters out on the ventures type thing I don't have man from what I know oh wow that success rate is pretty damn bad Uh, let me try everything else too. Okay, I don't have any characters for that. That they're wanting. I do have for this. I don't care about the 30. Yeah, I don't care about those. Shit, let's take our chances with this. And we're just going to say screw it and yellow that. <laughs> so yeah, there's going to be certain characters that increases those. So that's just normal story. Challenger dungeon is still there. Oh, they made any changes to this. 
Nope, no new changes. The only reason I'm getting those messages is just because I had to reinstall the game after having to delete it for another video. Okay, so I'm thinking that's just still for busters. So they took Ort Fortress out of uh, like the normal Gorg. Okay. Okay, I think I know what it is. It's this raid, right? Huh, we're not. I thought we are getting a new raid. I guess I'm just like all over the place today, then. This is not the best video to be going through right now. <laughs> oh, you, they have it to where you can go to directly to Mailbox now. Even though, I, like I said, they still are having like a little bit of lag issues right now. Do like transitions. But that's what's up. Anywho, everything so far looks pretty promising. Alright, what's an R? Right now, nothing new in there, nothing new in there. So I'm guessing your R Buster just levels up with you? Just by taking them into missions? That's at least the guess I want to go through, but I'm pretty sure you're just going to get enhancement parts, right? Yeah, go to raid. So I was right, it wasn't raid. Where are they dropping them now? Or is the raid not out yet? So I'm guessing the raid is not out. Huh. Guess it's still preparing, so we can't level up those yet. But can we take them into Challenger though? I'm hoping. Okay, yeah, we're, we can bring him into Challenger. God, it feels so good to have the Buster's back. Now I can feel like a badass again with the <laughs> Archer Gunslinger. Wait. Why does it feel like everybody's as tall as the Buster's? But then again, never mind. They weren't like always like... Towering tall. Like the Arc Buster. The Dragon Busters, yeah, were pretty small. Mm. But our main character didn't die, which is fantastic. Because normally our main character would die, like, really damn easy. But let me go ahead and... Hands. But I do apologize for this video, dude. I just woke up and my mind is just elsewhere. <sighs> like every other video. <laughs> but I do have a new game for later. So, hopefully that'll be fun. We can get her up to nine with that. I 
Okay, I'll just make sure we had enough. So I'm not going to use those characters. But I'm happy to have Mercedes so I can switch out um, Soul Eater soon. Or Blaze Eater. So we what am I doing watching anime right now? I can't wait. I found a new priority over trying to work on uh what's his face? Him. Mercedes is the best priority right now to work towards. Okay, so yeah, that's only going to go up once. Then we're going to go ahead and boost that stuff up so we can start getting all that stuff done. I'm pretty sure that's it, to be honest. I don't know what else to go over. Pretty sure we're just done. And we're going to be waiting for the raid, I guess. I don't know what's up with that. Is there also story? a story in here yet? Why am I all the way back here? Okay, no. Story is not here either yet. So, I'm guessing this is the first week of updates, and next week will be pretty much the rest of the stuff. Oh, never mind. Okay, now you proved me wrong. Apparently, they just put me all the way back, and I didn't get the story yet. It's probably the worst time to get the story, considering I just ran into the full space of storage thing. So it's probably going to cut off in half in the middle of it. But if it does, then you guys will be just fine, you know? <laughs> and you guys lost a lot of people, to be honest. You guys, whew, those casualties were, are painful. So now we're going to get into the story with the seven deadly sins soon. So that's going to be fun. I got a piss lust isn't here yet, but I guess she'll come like next week. At least I can hope. Then we also have pride. Who's not here yet. And gluttony. I think pride's going to be last though. Gluttony and um, lust should be next. I believe. And Les is pretty much going to be the best tank in the game for a while. You know, I always wanted to go to the netherworld. <laughs> Seems dark as hell there. Okay, finally, we're done. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out before it like cuts off in, in the middle of this. I'm out. <laughs>